Hello, bonjour, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I'm going to review two magnificent products from the French brand Ducre. So Ducre is a very old uh, French brand. It is from the 30s and it is actually owned by a bigger group, which is uh, Pierre Fabre. And they have some uh, pretty amazing product. And recently I've discovered two products from the Melas Cream uh, range. So this is the Depigmented Intense Care and the other one is the Photo Aging the Global Serum. So both of them you will see in terms of formula, uh, basically you the same type of uh, actives. And before I start, I want to remind you that one of the pillars of any skincare routine is to have a proper exfoliation routine. So you could use it uh, only once a week with a, a potent treatment. You can obviously use um, a very low percentage of uh, acid to exfoliate uh, your skin. I'm thinking obviously about AHA, especially uh, glycolic acid, but it also could be uh, lactic acid. So most of the time, the type of product that you are going to find in the market are either a toner or a sort of gel type that you are first going to apply just after cleansing uh, your skin, but you don't uh, find very often a sort of cream or I would say uh, emollient serum to exfoliate uh, your skin. Also, if you are not new to my channel, you will know that I tend to recommend a chemical exfoliant over uh, a scrub. One of the main reasons because if you are using um, an acid type product, an acid based uh, product is going to provide a more even um, exfoliation. And also in general, uh, those acid has more benefit than simply uh, moisturizing, than simply exfoliating the skin. One of them is that uh, those acids are uh, humectant. I'm especially thinking about uh, lactic acid and also you have different I would say strength of acid for example in terms of AHM mandelic acid it is a big acid and it's super gentle for the skin lactic acid is a medium sized um, acid that is also pretty suitable for sensitive skin while glycolic acid is one of the smallest and is of the smallest and it is also one of the most potent uh, HA that you can uh, Get. And in general, in the market, when you look um, at those formula, you either get a glycolic acid or a blend of different AHA. So a good example is this one, the 30% um, AHA plus 2% BHA from the uh, ordinary. This is basically a mix of um, AHA. So if you are not new to my channel, and by the way, if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Siri, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos you will know that uh, I'm a big fan of the um, AHA. Still, AHA are AHA and there are many uh, excellent, uh, excellent, but you don't, I would say, add up uh, in terms of function. But there is another uh, acid that for whatever reason uh, does not have uh, a lot of hype, which uh, it is very unfortunate. And this is azelaic acid. And let me tell you, azelaic acid is simply incredible. It has many functions. So first of all, it is an exfoliant. Uh, it is an exfoliant, so an excellent one. It also has uh, anti-inflammatory properties. It also has antibacterial um, activity, mainly against the bacteria uh, responsible of acne, which is properly bacterium uh, acne is. And like I said, it is also an anti-inflammatory, which is perfect because from the moment that you are going to use any uh, peeling agent or even a scrub actually, you are going to inflame your skin and with adelic acid, you are going to counteract this um, inflammation, which is also um, amazing. So in over the counter skincare, you can find product based with adelic acid and most of the time they are uh, around 10%. So 10% is still um, an excellent percentage, but from time to time, you also need more, especially if you plan to use uh, those type of products like once a week to simply exfoliate uh, your skin which is why i love so much those uh, ducre product because their formula is super super uh, simple especially the intense care one and guess what it use azelaic acid and also glycolic acid and the glycolic acid in this one is going to increase the exfoliation uh, power 
of the azelaic acid because in over-the-counter uh, skincare you cannot choose uh, 15 or 20 percent of um, azelaic acid it is only prescribed by a dermatologist and this is why this product is so so good it's because there is also a little bit of glycolic acid so i have went online to try to find the concentration of um, azelaic acid and also of glycolic acid I was not able to find it. I also contacted Ducre. They didn't want to disclose the um, concentration of active, which is very unfortunate. But one of you on Instagram have DM me and told me that uh, the azelaic acid is around uh, 12% and the glycolic acid at 5%. In my own um, experience, this one is uh, very potent. This is definitely a uh, potent uh, pinning agent for most skin type if you have normal skin type with not major uh, problem and not a very thick skin barrier uh, once a week would be uh, plenty to use with uh, this one if you do have sensitive skin or you are just planning uh, to use this type of product like three to four times a week to even every single um, day because you first uh, because you have acne, for example, I would suggest to first start with the global uh, serum from Ducre because it also uses azelaic acid and glycolic acid, but at a lower percentage. What I love about those two is that uh, the main emollient in those one, because they are more of a, I would say, a cream form of acid, is that they use a free fatty acid. So it's still very emollient. So it won't be drying, which is something that is so, so important when you are using uh, any type of exfoliating uh, product but at the same time it's going I would say to buffer the acid. Also the big advantage of free fatty acids which is caprylic, capric triglyceride is that it is compatible with every skin type so if you have uh, a lot of severe acne you can definitely use those products uh, without worrying about it. So the main difference between the two is that this one is definitely much more potent than the global uh, serum simply because the concentration of acid is higher in this one. Of course, I am guessing, but I have played with them uh, quite a lot. And they are also very moisturizing and both of them, the azelaic acid and also the glycolic acid has been blended with free fatty acid. So the intense care is fragrance free and also irritant free. The list of ingredients is super simple, super short. It also has volatile silicone in the form of cyclopentosiloxan, which also helps to have a, a magnificent texture, which I also love. So both of them have uh, a pretty good uh, texture in the sense that a little bit goes a long way, which is again, very important. They are also coming in a pump form, especially this one that seems to be a airless pump not uh, this one but like this you can control the amount of uh, product also a good tip if you want to jump straight away with the intense care is that you can dilute it using uh, for example uh, milk so check my video on Adelabo but for example you can dilute it simply by using the premium milk in the beginning or what you can also do if you want to um, increase the frequency of application that once a week you use it uh, pure just so just after you uh, toner and essence then you wait for five to ten minutes and you apply your moisturizer and during the week if you want to use it again you simply buffer it giving one of those products like uh, the premium milk the global serum has a formula that is a little bit more complex it does have a perfume you barely smell it which is obviously a common you can also check my video on fragrance and essential oils and i will tell you what the science says about them and also my personal opinion um, on a perfume and also on essential oils. Most of the time I do prefer to um, avoid them. Like I said, the perfume is very uh, minimal actually. Uh, in the beginning I didn't even um, smell it, but still it is uh, there. There is a little bit more um, uh, eminent in this one compared to the other one and it is also a silicone formula, but that doesn't feel at all like um, a primer they also layer beautifully in your skincare routine and also under a uh, moisturizer so overall i highly highly recommend those uh, products if you are looking for an excellent peeling to introduce in your skincare routine and you don't want to have like i would say the basic one with glycolic acid which is perfectly fine i do recommend uh, those two babies so like i said the intense care it's uh, suited for like once to maybe twice a week but be careful because it is very potent 
why the global sum would be for those of you who want to uh, use it almost um, every day because it is definitely uh, gentler. What you can also do if you are as crazy as me is to simply use both of them. So what I usually do, I use this one on my Sunday evening uh, routine without any retinol and I would use this one only on Wednesday uh, night. So comment down below and tell me if you have any questions regarding those uh, amazing babies. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell just right here to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I thank you so, so much for watching me. And guess what? I will see you next time. Au revoir. I know that I'm not the first, that I'm not alone. At being alone